I got my absolutely 100% free two-step working for this thing. Uh, there's a few ways they say to do it online. None of those worked for me, but I figured out one that worked and I'll show you how that goes. The way I did it doesn't even need a clutch switch, which is good because the clutch switch did nothing for the other stuff that I tried. Okay, so here is one of the things that they will tell you works online, but I could not get it to work. The not in gear limiters right here. <clears throat> I had these set down to my two-step RPM. And when I had this set here, watch in. So that's kind of the two-step. Now, clutch out. even without the clutch in. So I've seen on HP tuners and on LS1 tech that that's supposed to work for a two-step. Uh, some people say it works, some people say it doesn't, and in my case, it does not. So here is two more spots that say they work online. Uh, I had the fuel cutoff set here uh, in park neutral, which should have been activated by that clutch switch. Um, and then this one here, uh, I had the re-enable all set. So this, this does the same thing as this does in theory, but this one up here gave me the limit all the time, regardless of whether the clutch was pushed in or not. This one never gave me the limit ever. Just flashed a new tune in it. Let's see what we get this time. So clutch in. Nope, didn't do it. So I've got one more thing I can try, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. What I did find that worked was this base closed throttle spark advance. I tried it first and just park neutral, but it must be something with a manual tune that I have set up here. This is a T56 tune so that I can control the reverse lockout solenoid uh, out of a fourth gen Camaro. Uh, something about that T56 tune just completely ignores the park neutral uh, when you have the clutch pedal pushed in, apparently. So this did nothing. Because I had set this at negative 20 degrees. This did nothing at all when I had it set in just park neutral. So there is another one in drive. Even though manual transmission doesn't have drive either. <clears throat> this worked. And this negative 20 degrees that I set here uh, was able to hold the RPM where I needed it to be. Okay, here's Flash in the next one. Okay, all done. Let's see what we got. So this, the way that I just did it, it should not matter if a clutch is in or out. It should still trip. Okay, that part's working. That is spark-based instead of fuel-based. Now I'll try it on the street and see how it actually works for a launch. Testing the two-step, 3,800 RPM. Wow, it's so loud and noisy. Yeah, the string tires are no match for the two-step. Okay, to actually make this work and enable it, what I had to do was change my minimum spark advance and change this to negative 20 so that it would allow me to use that really low spark advance number in the table here. And I also changed the thresholds. So there's a threshold for vehicle speed and also for throttle percentage. Anything above 1.19% on a factory T56 car uh, was no longer called idle throttle. And the speed was 255. And I changed those to 100% because I want to be able to math the throttle while I'm doing this as a two-step. 
and I changed the mile per hour down to one mile per hour. So even though this uh, was in gear, even though I set, I had to set this up so it was in drive, uh, it really doesn't matter because how often are you going to be like 3,800 RPM under one mile per hour? Mm, the only way that's going to happen is if you got the clutch in. So there's really no downside to doing it this way, and I think it's probably actually better because you're using spark to control it, which reacts a hell of a lot quicker than the fuel cut does. So uh, I think this will probably work really well, and I'm going to give it a shot at the next uh, drag strip trip, which is coming right up. I'm going with the old man's Challenger, and we're both going to work on 60 foots. Uh, Skyview just opened back up in Tioga. I haven't been there in like... Well, it's been closed for almost 10 years, and I haven't been there in probably like 15. But we're going to try that out, and uh, I will test this and see how it works. I bet it works pretty good. And it's hard to beat free instead of like 300 bucks for the MSD box.